I'm gonna show you guys a really neat way to check your e-body gauges at home with some AA batteries, a multimeter, and a sending unit. That's it. You're gonna be able to check on your standard non-rally gauge, uh, fuel and temperature gauges. On your rally gauge, you're gonna be able to check your fuel, temperature, and your oil gauge. Now, if you were to go to your trusty manual and look up how to test those, they're gonna tell you to use a tool called the C3826. And that tool is nothing more than a glorified sending unit with three settings. It's got low, which is set to 73, ohms of resistance. It's got high, which is set to 10 ohms of resistance, and it's got the medium, which is right around 23. Well, we can duplicate that with the sending unit, and you can check that by using your multimeter and setting it to the ohm setting. I set it at 200 ohms, and each sending unit has a positive and a negative. Where your wire goes on, on those threads it pushes on, that's your positive. It usually has some sort of plastic grommet and a, and a wire or a cable going all the way down. In this, in this situation, it's a metal wire and it has a grommet at the bottom so it doesn't short out. So if I was to touch the positive to that, and I can pretty much ground this off anywhere else on this unit, I'm gonna see that this is nothing more than ohms. A, a, an ohms resistor. So I had 71.2 at the bottom, and if I go all the way to the top, it looks like I've got about, let's see here, I got about 10.876, is it gonna get five? Five, so right about 10 and a half. Now if I was to put it in the middle, looks like I got about 23, 20, 22, 23. And I always just put a mark about 23 uh, ohms of resistance, so that's why I know that it is actually the middle and I can test my gauge with this. So, we don't need the manual, we don't need the testing tool, we got a sending unit. And all these gauges, they use five volts. So you can duplicate that with some AA batteries. And the way I do that is I just tape them together. So, use a little tape, put the positive to the negative, and that's it. Well, I'm taping these up, guys. If you have any questions about this, you're more than welcome to send me a message online on one of the forums like ebodies.com. Uh, ebodies.com I'm on quite a bit. Moparts I'm on quite a bit. And moparts.com. And you can just look for Cuda Cody as my username. I'm on uh, kudachallenger.com also. Any one of those sites. And you'll be able to send me a message and I'll do my best to answer it. So, there's our power source right there, some AA batteries. I'm gonna switch this over to the volt side now and I'm gonna set it on 20 volts. I can check this, see how much I'm putting out here. Put the positive on the plus side and the negative on the negative side and it looks like I've got about 5.08. So anything close to five, you're gonna be great. If you got brand new batteries and you're at 4.5 because they're one and a half volts each one, that'll work too. If you're five and a half, you're gonna be okay. Just remember that if you're over or under that five, your gauge is gonna be over or under a little bit. So that's it, now we're ready to test our gauge. So we know that this is positive and the whole unit is pretty much ground. On the back of these, they have these studs. You might have to take off one of the grounding wires and you're, you're gonna be able to use those two studs to take the test. Now you can do this with the gauge in the cluster. If you're really flexible and you can get up in the car, you can even test it in the car, or you can test it out of the cluster. But all you wanna do is, I use these little alligator clips here. You wanna clip positive onto the E side, so the empty side of the gauge. And I'm gonna do something here real quick and show you how, how you can test these just to see if they sweep. Put the negative on the fuel side, on the full side, so you got full and empty. And then you can simply just touch them straight to the battery. Now you want to be careful here. You don't want to leave it on too long because this is not getting any resistance. It's going to sweep pretty fast if it's working. And you can see that gauge start to sweep really quick. So that tells me the gauge is probably working. But now we can actually run it just like we were going to run it in a car. So we just have to take our positive. Actually, I gotta tape my positive to the positive end of the battery. So you take your positive, and I use, like I said, these little alligator clips, they make it easy for me to do with one person, and tape that on there. 
And I know that my positive goes on my sending unit, right on the, the positive side. My ground, I'm just gonna put on one of the inlets there, so I got a good ground. And I just need a third wire to complete the circuit, so I'm gonna use this yellow wire, and I'm gonna attach it to the positive side of the gauge, which is the empty side. Now, if I touch this, it should start to move as soon as I fill up my tank with gas. And you can see that gauge is starting to move. There's a quarter tank, half tank, and it'll keep going just like if you were to fill up your tank and this float was to go up. Now, if I set this float into the halfway position, you can see the gauge will stop right about the halfway. And if I go ahead and put it back down to, to low, which would be 73 ohms of resistance, in our case, 71.2, that, that's gonna continue to drop and drop and drop as it's doing. And so if you've got enough time, it takes a few seconds as you hook it up for it to adjust because we are now running it through some resistance. You can actually get pretty close and calibrate your gauge uh, pretty well and make sure it's working. So this works on, like I said, your oil, your temperature, and your fuel. It's a good idea to know which one is positive and negative by first just hooking up a straight sweep test. So hope that helps. Uh, if you guys got any questions, again, check me out on ebodies.com, moparts.com, or any one of those forums. I'm Kuda Cody. And if you like the video, man, thanks. I appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. And good luck. And if you got any questions, let me know. And turn it on the ohm setting. I, 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 we just got to hook the power up to the power source of the resist, of the uh, ohm, uh, <laughs> Oh!